going to try a little different setup of the cameras today. I'm filming this with the with the Kodak. Um, I'm not not sure how I'm going to like that, but I've got it set up overhead with uh, the GoPro. So it uh, I used it before overhead in in the house to do some work on guns but now I'm got it out here and I'm a little higher so I'm gonna have to probably uh, use the uh, video editor to zoom it in a little bit more but anyway I'm gonna give it a try and see how it works um, because it'll be straight down basically and uh, that's kinda what I'm after so hopefully it'll work I keep looking at it going hmm, I hope it works so I'll get the camera set up and I'm gonna do a little burning on this guy been doing some uh, this is for uh, the craft sale I got coming up uh, I hope it all goes well so let me get the camera set up up above and uh, we'll see how it goes all righty <laughs> Okay, here we go with the overhead.
All right. Finish the burning. There it is. Uh, like I said, the one gal said that uh, pyrography is a marathon and not a sprint. Absolutely right. Take your time. Do it the way you're supposed to do it. And I noticed too, I don't know how many of you have uh, worked with leather, carved on leather, but I used to do that a lot. Uh, the only reason why I'm not is all my tools are still in storage up in Iowa and I'm down here in Arkansas. But anyway, when you would work with leather, you would, of course, cut it all with a swivel knife, but you would work on the farthest thing away farthest piece away and you would do that first you would tool that piece first and then you would go on to the next one until you were working on like the nose here would be the closest thing to you so that would be the last thing you would work on uh, that just that gave it depth like the bottom um, carving was here and then the other carving would lay, you know, on top of it, and then the other one would lay on top of it, and you could you could see depth. And I noticed that uh, if you do that with with uh, pyrography, with the wood burning, uh, you also can see depth because the lines are look like they're underneath the lines that are on top. So it it uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just finding it out, and that's always been the way it was. But uh, if it hasn't, try it sometime. Burn the farthest thing away, and then work your way to the closest. Uh, seemed like it works really good, and I just really noticed it on, on this one. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Uh, it's time to go in. Uh, give me something to drink. Uh, sit down in a nice, comfortable, soft chair. So, we'll get at you next time. Alrighty, bye-bye. Okay, today what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be working on the wood spirit again. And I'm going to be doing a lot of shading on it. And that's something I haven't tried before. Uh, and uh, it, I, I could never get it quite right, I guess, in, in my eyes. But I am just, I am just, Kind of going forward with this and hopefully uh, so far it looks like it's 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 doing pretty good I'm trying to do in my mind the same as I used to do with uh, carving leather uh, I'm trying to go from the furthest away up to the, the, the closest to you um, try to get depth is, is what I'm after is depth um, I see a lot of uh, pyrography on on YouTube and stuff and uh, that is um, a lot more I, I guess a lot more burn like they take the outside edges here and they make it completely black just the outside parts of everything um, mostly with a some kind of a, a design you know a rough rough texture uh, I might try that too on this one uh, we'll have to see uh, but I, I'm still on the mindset of uh, pyrography is a marathon and not a sprint I like that was well said so yeah it's taken me quite a while to to do this because I don't want to totally ruin it so anyway stop babbling uh, I got my machine on and I'm using this oh, you can see it real good it uh, seems to be doing a pretty good job I, I've noticed that there's all kinds of different ones that people use and I, I'm, I'm sure it's just whichever is the uh,
best that, that you use, you know, you can use, uh, what's more comfortable for you.
And remember, grab your cane, your hiking stick, your walking stick, whatever you use, and get out there because nature is beautiful.